G'day, it's John Willis from Club Marine TV, and I'm quietly excited because we've got the brand spanking new model, Jeannot Mary Fisher 695, and this is a Series 2. It's got that terrific hull that's been so well accepted, not only in Australia, but all around the world, but it's also got some really nice little upgrades that just make it that little bit more user-friendly. It's a great boat for fishing, for cruising, for diving, whatever you want to do on the water. And what's more, it's easily towable at around three tonne loaded on the Easy Tow aluminium trailer, full drive on drive off, and it's only two and a half metres wide, so you don't have to worry about wide load specifications as well. It makes a lot of sense, but it's also a lot of fun. This one's been upgraded from the standard 175 horsepower right through to a 200 horsepower outboard and we've fitted the Ripper new Mercury. 200 horsepower V6 four stroke outboard. That's really gonna push it along. Let's go and have some fun with Janot. Rowan from 38 South Boat Sales. How are you again today, my friend? Yeah, we're out here today on the new 695 Series 2. And Series 2, look, the 695 has been a very popular boat for Janot, and uh, but the Series 2 has just got a couple of little creature comforts and updates, yeah? Yeah, we sold uh, in Australia probably 20 or 30, but I think it was like four or 500 worldwide, maybe even up to 700, I don't know the exact number, it was quite a lot. Mm. Um, but based on feedback from customers, they made a lot of changes to the boat. Anything above deck has been changed. Everything above deck. Everything, yeah. yeah. So that uh, hull, which I was actually always very impressed with, no doubt about that, is exactly the same. Yeah, no changes there at all. Still got the bow thruster plug, 90 degrees dead rise, but anything, all the new deck mould, everything's changed. It's a beautiful hull, actually. It's very, very stable, isn't it? But it actually rides very well. Yeah, for a two and a half metre wide boat, I reckon it's as good as they come, for it, especially because it's fully enclosed cabin. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's. Look, it's just been very popular. It's very popular with retired couples who just want to travel around and tow the boat, um, you know, drive around Victoria and coastline or Australian coastline. It's mm -hmm. been very, very popular. The 795 just might be a little bit too big for them to either store in the garage or to trailer behind their car because they can only tow three tonnes. Yep. Or they just want something a bit lighter, just easy to handle uh, on the water, on the road. Just another really important update that I've seen is traditionally Janot dashboards have probably been a little bit small for what we're using in modern technology nowadays. We've had a bit of an upgrade there. Yeah, normally that's um, we can only fit a maximum nine inch on the 695 and 795s, but now they've completely changed the dash to allow for a 12 inch plotter to be fitted and that's what we're fitted today. We're using a Ray Marine Axiom 12 inch and I've got to say it's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, look. I don't think you need to go any bigger than that on a boat like this. It's uh, we split the screen. You can have charts, you know, 3D down vision, sonar, anything you want. It's uh, it's a good good size package. Absolutely. We've got the dash is compact and neat, but it's comfortable as well. You've got the bolster seat as well, and the other feedback, and it came from me, and it comes from your customers as well, is nowhere to put the cushions when you were on the move, so, uh, but now you have. Yeah, that's a great feature. So um, underneath the floor where I'm sitting here now is a huge storage locker to put all those extra cushions. The one thing they've added to as well is the um, roof racks, just so you can put a stand-up paddleboard, ca canoe or kayak, just to give you that extra flexibility to store more equipment. Which is great, particularly if you've got the family on board for a big day out, you might want to do some fishing, you might want to do some kayaking, you might want to do some donutting a yeah. bit later. Yeah, yeah well, even fishing, like you can fish fishing rods up there, but we get a lot of customers who just use the boat with their family, but they might want to go out as well to do some fishing. Yeah, absolutely, no problems. Look, I love the fact that it's trailable, I love the fact it's still under three tonne, as I said before, this the boat, the standard boat is produced with a maximum horsepower of 175 horsepower, but you have had this engineer rated to take the 200 horsepower. Yeah, so we just have a marine surveyor just um, review all the information provided by Genoa and um, he just provides a new Australian build plate to take the a higher horsepower engine. Um, so we put a V6 200 on this because there's very little price difference between the 175 and 200. Yep. And the initial test we've done on this is absolutely fantastic. One thing they've actually added down the back here, they've changed the cockpit locker and it's much bigger, it's much easier to get into. Um, they've separated this extra seating at the back as well so it's split yep. so you can easily move one of the modules out if you want to give you more floor space. 
um, but you can still open that locker with the seat in place and the table and get access and it's a much bigger, wider area. Cool, and of course for going fishing we can uh, pull the table out as well if need be and if you're going for a swim and all the rest of it or gaffing a big fish you can get out the back on those really nice big platforms yeah but one thing they've got this too you can drop that table down and make a day bed now mm. um, so that is another option that we've included this is a great little cruising boat as well i mean you can be warm and comfortable in here look it's winter and i'm just down into a t-shirt but you've got a bit of everything you've got the v-berth up front you've got the toilet You've got the uh, little hand basin in there as well, so that's really comfortable for the whole family. You've got a drop-down dinette, which does become an extra berth for the kids. Um, the fold-over seat just works really well for function, there's no doubt about that. But you've got the fridge, you've got the sink, you've got plenty of storage. You've also got a holding tank in the boat as well, so you can go into any restricted waterway quite comfortably and know you're environmentally friendly. I've got to say, for a boat of its sort of nature, it actually turns beautifully as well. The steering's good, the, uh, the response is good, and even we're about to come over our own wake here, and uh, it's, it's actually quite soft and gentle for a boat with such big wide shoulders to give it that buoyancy and the volume. It actually rides very well, and it's reasonably quiet as well, which is, uh, which is nice to see. All right, here we go. 4200 RPM, we're using 34 litres per hour at 26 knots. Kick that power band in again. 4800 RPM, 52 litres an hour at 31 knots. And here we go. Let's open her up, see what we can get. Trim her right up. She's been sitting nice and flat. I've got a school of fish in front of me, believe it or not. Trimming up, trimming up. There's three of us on board and there's a full tank of fuel here as well. Trimming up. That's as far as I can trim it. I've got about 5,600 RPM at 66 litres per hour, which is really economical at this speed, doing 37 and a half. It touches 38 knots, so a little bit over 37 knots, top end. With the economy of the engine, combined with 180 litres of fuel, you've got plenty of range to get off to the shelf and have a great day out, or a long cruise. You know what, we've had a great day out. We're just coming back into Patterson River now. The Genoa is priced very, very well. It's around $119,000 without the trailer. So get on the water, you can put it in the stack storage or on the trail, whichever way you want to go. It's got that all-rounder for Australian conditions. It's got American guts, but it's got a little bit of Euro style as well. I really like it. This has been John Willis for Club Marine TV.